Hi guys, me and Tom have just got to our hotel in Barcelona. Um, we've literally just walked in and it's such a nice room. I'll quickly show you. We've been upgraded. Like, I don't know why, but we're not mad about it. So this is the actual bedroom. I don't know what the view's like. I don't know if you can see, but that's the view. We're only here for one night, but we've basically got this whole room here, all these <laughs> wardrobes, and then this whole separate like lounge area and they've also given us some sweets and stuff which I'm gonna eat now and there's tea and coffee as well uh, but yeah so we we're going on a ship tomorrow we're going with Virgin Voyage so we're only here for one night but yeah and we keep getting upgraded which is so weird uh, but yeah so we're gonna get ready now and go and explore we've literally just left the hotel and we're gonna go where we're we gonna go Tom to the Sagrada Familia yeah I've already well we've both already seen it but the cathedral Gaudi Cathedral um, but yeah, we're gonna go see it again and you've not seen the inside so I don't know if we might do that as well. Mm. Oh my god, it is so nice. Where are you going? Maybe for breakfast tomorrow morning. This will be handy as well because it's literally right next door. But yeah, we're gonna just have a wander and see what we find go to the cathedral maybe like get some food around there uh, but there's this gluten-free place that we've been recommended um that does literally gluten-free everything what's it called that one on veal something like that well, yeah we'll tell you when we get there but um yeah we're gonna have that for dinner i think and maybe get like paella or something i love all the little balconies they're so cute i could see myself living here actually tom what do you think no. no, why? Oh, give it a bit of time. We've only stepped foot in it in about 30 seconds. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> move here. We've just got to the Cinque Valley Familia and we think it's closed, so we're just going to look at it from the outside. But it's so amazing. And we both think it looks different from when we last saw it as well. Like all this white stuff here, I think is new stone. But yeah, so beautiful. are at this really nice rooftop restaurant now called Eleven and um, you would have seen already like some clips of the view it's insane and now Tom is starving so he's eating all of the peanuts so they get we've ordered an Aperol spritz and Tom got a gluten-free beer which is it good Really nice, um, but yeah, the views up here are just <coughs> so breathtaking, so we're just gonna chill. And then I don't want to put my camera over the edge, but like down there, there's like a whole street of like restaurants and stuff. So I think we're just gonna go down there afterwards and eat uh, paella and sangria. So we'll show you where we go down there as well. So now we're at this uh, little restaurant, which is literally opposite the bar we just went to 11 uh, which is part of the nh collection hotels which we're actually staying in one of their other hotels like a little bit further out the city um but yeah we just walked down and like there was like a whole row of these little, like restaurants so we just come to like the first one we saw and now we've got sangria and we just had some chips which tom is about in like two seconds and now we're just waiting for our paella we ordered a seafood paella to share so yeah just waiting for that now Wow, this has just come. It's literally massive. Oh my god, it smells so good. Are you excited, Tom? Mm, it's big time. <laughs> we also, I can't, yeah, I did say about chips. But yeah, and we still got all this picture of sangria to finish off as well. Oh my god, I can't wait. This is going to be devoured in like two seconds. I found the holy grail of shops. Tom is sick, so sick of it, so he's gonna probably go somewhere else. Less than impressed, yeah. <laughs> I'm not bothered about Zara Home. Yeah, I'm gonna go, because I've never seen a Zara Home store before, so I'm gonna have a look. Where are you gonna go? I don't know.
a little room tour. So this is the main entrance way. There's like space down here for luggage and all that sort of boring stuff. And then this is the bathroom. It's quite small, but like for a ship, like I would expect it to be like this. <laughs> And then this is the room. We've got the central sea terrace. So we've got the water down here. Little seating area that Tom's setting up in. And then we just had the safety thing on TV as well. And then this is our balcony, which looks so cute. We've got the hammock that you seem to get on all Virgin ships. So I can't wait to have a go on that. And this is the view. We're still in Barcelona at the minute, so we're still in port waiting to go. Yeah, we've just got on the ship. We're still waiting for our bag to get here, but I think we can just go and like have a little walk around and I think they'll just bring that up and just leave it by the door when it's ready. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna explore and just sort of see what's on the boat. We haven't actually like explored yet, so we're gonna go do that now. I think we need to book in for the spa as well so we can get that sorted. And we haven't booked into any restaurants yet, so I think we're gonna go and try and do that now as well. Enjoying the cruise, Tom. I'm loving it so far. We are at the end sort of of our first day and we've loved it so far. Like it's massive. We're currently like, just taking some pictures on the dock, which is the view you would have seen a second ago. Like how gorgeous is this view? Like it's sunset now, so we've we had just... some octopus and some squid earlier. Yeah, we were sat oh, over no. there. Octopus and shrimp. Sorry. Yeah, we were sat over there earlier and um, we just got some shrimp and octopus just to eat when we first came on. We're gonna go for dinner now and get like a full meal. But um, yeah, we had, uh, and also when we were leaving, we had like free Prosecco and stuff like before the, the ship actually left the dock. So now, yeah, we're gonna go and get some proper food, but we're loving it so far. We've still got loads to explore. This is our starter. We've both had the pork belly. Tom's already digging into his. Is it good? Really, really good. Delicious. Looks so good. Now our food has just arrived. I've got the lamb shank and Tom has got some sort of fish in this one. What's this one, Tom? I think it's called beef carpaccio. Beef carpaccio, that looks so good. I definitely want to try that. I'll do you now. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. You should be so lucky. Now we've got our dessert. So I've got the smoked creme brulee, and they've brought Tom out a special dairy free, gluten free cheesecake, which looks so good. So, yeah, I'm gonna dig into this now. So, today is the first official, like, full day of the cruise. We've just arrived in Toulon and it looks so beautiful i'll show you in a sec um but yeah like yesterday we just like got on the ship we like literally walked around the whole ship i think um and just explored everywhere we went for dinner at razzle dazzle before that we oh for lunch we went to the dock which is like at the back of the ship and we had prawns and squid you would have seen that that was delicious and um then we uh, for din then we got ready and like went for dinner at Razzle Dazzle and um, yeah just like explored a bit and so now we're literally just going to go get some breakfast and then we're going to get off the ship and have a little look around Toulon. Tom's never been to the south of France before so this is going to be really fun. I have been but not for ages and this is the view from our balcony. So gorgeous. Yeah, we're just exploring the streets of 
old now and gonna keep walking around. <laughs> We've just come to the harbour now to sit down and have a drink and we've both had Aperol Spritz and the view is so gorgeous. We're literally like in the harbour so we can see all of the boats and we can see our ship as well. I'll show you in a sec. Um, but yeah, we just explored Toulon. It's really beautiful, like very, I would say quite rural city. Would you say, Tom? It's like, yeah. it's a city, but it doesn't feel like a buzzy, like really busy city. It's pretty chill and like really picturesque, but beautiful buildings everywhere. Apparently there's a big shopping market, um, shopping centre, which I think we're going to go to after our drink, just before we go back on the ship. Um, but yeah, it's just had a pretty chill day, just like wandering around and stuff, but it's been really lovely. And then we're going to go back on the ship and chill, I think, for the rest of the day and get some gluten-free dairy-free pizza, because Tom's really excited to try that. This is our view, and then I don't know if you can see in the distance, just there is the actual ship we're on. So there is the Valiant Lady Virgin cruise ship, so you can't miss it. We're definitely not going to get lost. We've just got pizza from the place back on the ship. Yeah, we're back on the ship now, back in Richard's rooftop. Tom went for the special, which was barbecued chicken. Is it good? And then I've got this one, which was like, what was it called? Do you remember? No, I can't remember. This is gluten-free base as well. And uh, Tom had vegan cheese. I just had normal cheese on mine. Mm, that's good. So we're at the end of the second day now. Well, no, the first full day now. And um, we've been to Chillon today. We went to like Richard's rooftop and like sunbathe and stuff. And now we are um, on floor 15. We're at the gallery, I think it's called. It's like loads of different restaurants. It's like sort of like cantina vibe. So it's loads of different, different like food options. And um, we just come for like a free dinner snack. So we've come and got some bento boxes. That we've got sushi to share. So Tom has got tuna rolls and I've got salmon rolls. We're gonna do like half and half. And um, currently watching the sunset over the sea. So it's really beautiful. And um, we've got dinner tonight at Gum... Where are we going to dinner tonight? Gumbe. Gumbe, yeah. Yeah, we're going for dinner tonight at Gumbe, which I think is like a Chepanyaki kind of restaurant. Um, so that'd be interesting to see. And I've currently got on a dress, which is new from House of CB. I'll try and get a video of it later. Um, but this is the view from where we're having our sushi. So this is my sushi, which is a salmon. Tom's eating the tuna. Are you saving me some? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have to get some more <laughs> tuna. And this is the view from dinner, so it's so beautiful. The sun is literally setting right now. And this is the sort of like gallery, which is like cantina restaurants. There's uh, loads of different restaurants to get from. So there's this. Okay, I don't know if you saw that Tom just dropped a sushi roll. I think I did, yeah. <laughs> um, but the bento boxes, the sushi was from this one just here. Bento baby. Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna dig into this now and they also had some gluten-free soy sauce so I'm gonna have that as well. I can't remember where I left the video off yesterday but we went to Gumbe for dinner last night and that was sort of like a teppanyaki style restaurant and um, we were sat down with like groups of other people and that was really fun so we like the woman came and like cooked all our food right in front of us and you got like chatting to people next to us and like it was really good um but i didn't get the camera out because obviously we had other people games as well. yeah yeah we played drinking games and they gave us like um this like rice vodka which was lethal um luckily i only had one shot but tom won the game and they gave him another one so he thought he was trying to win so he didn't have to do a shot and he had to do two in the end <laughs> did you do the other one actually no, no i didn't do you it didn't. no i don't blame you it's didn't really fancy strong it. it's grim. um but yeah, so we just had that yesterday and then we were there so late that we just went to bed. And then uh, today we're going to Pisa. Uh, we're doing an excursion, so we've paid to go with Shore Things and then we're going on a ferry ride to Pisa and I think a trolley ride as well. I'm not sure what that means, but it should be really like picturesque and scenic, so that'd be fun. So yeah, we'll see what it's like in Pisa.
So we are back from Pisa now. We've come back on the boat, back on Richard's rooftop, which is the little like VIP rooftop section. Um, it's just like really chill up here and um, really comfortable beds as well. So we just come here to chill and sunbathe. And um, I just went and got some more pizzas because they do gluten-free and dairy-free for home, which is so handy and like such a luxury because if there's anyone out there who can't have gluten or dairy you'll know that like usually you can't have pizza like so it's definitely something we're taking advantage of um so i'll quickly just show you what we've got this is tom's one so i got him the pepperoni and then this is gluten-free base and vegan cheese and i had to ask if this is uh, real because it looked really real to me so i was worried that they put on the wrong one and then this is mine i just went for the plain margarita and i also got gluten-free base but i just had normal cheese on mine so i'm going to dig into this now I can't fully remember where I last left off the vlog. I know I've been getting like clips here and there of what we've actually been doing, but I haven't spoken about anything for I think a day or two now. So the last day that I fully like spoke to you guys was in Italy, in Pisa, and we were basically just so knackered by the end of the day. Um, when we got back on the ship, we just like chilled. I was just so exhausted. So we just like lay down all day and I like, didn't really do much. And then we went out for dinner to Gambe, which is like a teppanyaki style restaurant. They've got like a hot plate in the middle of the table and you have like other people sat with you. So I didn't want to get the camera out then as well because obviously I was like trying to be social, but the food there was really good. Then we had a sailing day yesterday and I got some clips of like what we did, but we just sort of had a Again, like a chill day we went to the spa in the morning which was really nice and yeah we just like ch chilled out again and then today we are uh, we've ported in uh, a jackio in corsica which is so lovely and we went and had a little explore you will see you will have seen some clips from that as well like what we got up to we actually end up seeing the french president he was here for the day i don't really know what he was doing um but we got tom got some photos of him like he had loads of security and like guards around him um, but yeah, so that was interesting. And then we also stopped off and got more fritz because we're in France. And um, yeah, it's really hot today, but now we've just come back onto the ship. It's like, I think it's like three nearly. And we leave here at half four. Um, so I think we're gonna go back up to the Richards rooftop and just chill out and um, I'm so full, so I don't wanna eat anything else. So yeah, I'm just gonna sunbathe and chill out for the rest of the day really i think what else we got up to i'm also just chilling in the hammock on our balcony which is so comfortable i've actually used this quite a lot i didn't expect it to actually be that useful but it's really comfy and it's so nice to look at the view so this is this is the view from our balcony in corsica so picturesque also we went out for dinner the other night as well which i did record so you would have seen what we ate we went to the test kitchen now that was really cool it was like a six course sort of like menu and it was like really unusual food combinations it sort of reminded me of like heston blumenthal sort of vibes and yeah the food was really good and we also went to a show we went to see jewel i think it's called jewel activity um no can't be 
it's called Jewel something. It's basically like a circus show and it's um, sort of like Romeo and Juliet inspired with like loads of circus stuff and like flips and juggling and like all that. Um, but yeah, that was really fun as well. Tonight is the Scarlet Party, so I'll show you that. I've, I've got a red dress to wear from Club Al London, so I'm gonna wear that tonight for the red party. And yeah, I'll try and get some more clips of what we're getting up to really we're really enjoying the cruise so far it's been so much fun i didn't really know what to expect because i'd never done a cruise before but um yeah i'm loving it i definitely would do a cruise again like i can't recommend it enough and all the food that we've had as well has been amazing like the quality and like the freshness and just everything's just been so good so yeah i've been loving that as well yeah so i'm gonna go up to the roof now and do some sunbathing Tom are in Razzle Dazzle for breakfast today and we've both gone for the Razzle Dazzle breakfast and it looks really good. This is like a sort of English fry up type thing. Um, and then we've got some fruit and Tom's got a gluten free, dairy free banana muffin that's going to come as well which sounds really nice. So me and Tom are walking back to the ship now. We've just had our last um, day, last full day. excursion. Yeah, in Ibiza. And we've been to Ibiza Old Town before, which is like where we're near. And there was like a shuttle bus that was free for the people on our ship. But we decided to just walk and go to the other side and go to like a little beach. And yeah, so we just been in the sea a few times, went and got a drink. Um, but yeah, then we're just heading back to the ship now and we're gonna soak up the last of the time we've got on there because we disembark tomorrow at 10 45 and it was like it's quite early like you don't have much time on the ship um on the day that it's ending so i've got to do that tomorrow and yeah i'm gonna miss virgin because it's really been good i'm gonna miss it too but yeah tom's absolutely loved Time it. Got too sad. Today is the last official day of the holiday. We've disembarked the ship and we're in Barcelona now just like exploring and we're currently in one of the parks looking at the beautiful fountain. Um, our flight is until like 10 so we've got pretty much a whole day and uh, yeah we've loved the cruise. It's literally been so good. Also, we've absolutely loved it and just looking forward to getting home now. I'm pretty knackered to be honest. So yeah just gonna chill in Barcelona for a bit.